Today we will attempt to install an EFIE on the Dodge, the 2000 Dodge Neon. And what I wanted to do was to show everyone the voltage that comes off of the O2 sensor. And what I'd like to do is take a measurement of the voltage coming off of the O2 sensor and then turning on the hydrogen generator and comparing the voltage to see if the O2 sensor is actually sending a lean signal back to the computer. So we'll attempt to do that today. Also, um, we'll be installing an EFIE. This is the EFIE I've been working on for the past several weeks. Um, I have tested it. It does work the way it's supposed to. Uh, it pulses a, a uh, DC current and it changes the pulse, uh, changes the uh, voltage every pulse. So it mimics the the operation of the O2 sensor itself. What I've done here, my O2 sensor's back in there, and what I've done is I've taken pull this out here. This is my wiring harness for my O2. This side down here goes to the O2 sensor. Um, what I've done is uh, this is the uh, this black lead here is the uh, lead that uh, goes back to the ECU and I put a inline splice in it and spliced this green wire into that black wire. So I have that spliced in there and I've got a wire coming back that I will be hooking into the uh, this is a dual EFIE so I can hook up two O2 sensors to this um, my uh, car only has one so I'll only be using one of these but I'll, I'll hook this up to uh, the O2 lead and I'm going to uh, run a positive and a negative here to uh, hook this unit up but first what I want to do is uh, I want to take a measurement of the voltage coming off of the O2 sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and hook that up and we'll give that a try. Okay, this is the voltage pulse coming from the O2 sensor. I have the HHO on right now. And as far as I can see, I'm getting a low of 0.161 volts and a high of 0.873. So now I'll turn off the HHO and we'll see if we have a voltage difference. Alright, now it's been, we've had the HHO off for about five minutes now, and not a lot of difference in the voltage. I was uh, hoping to see some kind of difference to show that the O2 sensor was uh, sending a, a lean signal back to the ECU. But, the voltage is about a low of about 1.1. 6.4 and a high of about 0 0.8, 892, 888, 8, 8, right in there. So, not a lot of difference in the voltage there. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and install the CFIE and uh, we'll show you how to tune it to uh, get the best, uh, best results out of it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hook it up. Be right back. Okay, I have the EFIE hooked up. I'll go through what the connections are here. On the left here, we have our connection for our two O2 sensors. This vehicle only has one, so this is the green wire I was talking about earlier. This goes back to the O2 uh, wiring harness and it's uh, 
has an inline splice on the wire that sends a signal back to the, uh, the vehicle computer. That's that wire there. This one here is simply a ground wire. I've got it uh, hooked to a ground right over here next to my relay. And then this is the 12 volt uh, wire. This wire is actually, there's two ways to hook this wire up. You could hook this wire into the relay of your hydrogen generator on the center on the center pin of a five pin relay. That way the FIE will only be on when the relay is energized. Or, and this is the way I've done this here, I have for one of the, the pins, the coil pin of my relay, it's coming from the positive. I have mounted, let's take this cover off. This is for my hydrogen generator going to, going to the relay. I have it hooked into my fuel pump relay. Um, this pin here on the fuel pump relay is only hot when the engine is running. So what I've done is I've got an inline splice onto that wire coming to my 12 volt in my EF EFIE. So what that does is my EFIE is only running when the generator is running and when the engine is running. So that's the purpose for that. Inside the unit here is a small uh, potentiometer. I've got a little hole there to adjust it. And I've got the uh, EFIE set to match the voltage that was coming off of the oxygen sensor. So it's pulsing at about 3.3 volts to 0.8 volts to match the signal coming off the EFIE or the O2 sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and start up the car and we're going to adjust the voltage up on the EFIE to add voltage to the signal going back to the computer. The added voltage will tell the computer to lean off the gas mixture. Just give me a second to start up the car. Okay, the engine is running and I have my voltmeter hooked up to the EFIE. Uh, generator is running, pulling about 10 amps. I'm going to attempt to adjust this with, uh, with one hand. What we're going to do is we're going to adjust it down, increase the voltage going to the computer. We're going to adjust it down until the engine starts to sputter and bog down. And then we're going to back it off, uh, drive the car and uh, adjust it to where the car is still running normally but is running in a lean condition. Okay. Okay, we are going to add more voltage 